By the way, you guys want to hear? I, I realize it's we're going a little bit late. Uh, are we cool for a little bit? Yeah. Okay. Because I do want to tell you uh, the greatest casino story oh. in the history of me and Gary. Sean, you good for this? Okay, this is a fucking good one. <laughs> Promise. <laughs> so me and Gary, uh, I, I, well, just me in general. I oh, I yeah. love to gamble. I love it. I, I, I love to play blackjack. I love to play dice, whatever. And of, over the course of several years, I've gotten Gary... Uh, it is very into it as well. We have many, many stories about us at casinos and things, and and some of them are not the most flattering for me, and and vice versa. <laughs> but this one night, we were at our favorite casino because and, and it's fa- our favorite because it was kind of a dump, is really old, and they've since knocked it down. It was called the Sahara. It was at the end of the strip, it's right oh, across, hell yes. right across the street oh, from yeah. the Stratosphere. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah and yeah, uh, yeah. it was our favorite place because you could go in there like at the end of like we'd already played that night in Vegas or whatever. Yep. And you're and, and it's dollar blackjack. Nobody yep. gives a shit. Like in fact, like you're not even playing with chips. You're playing with silver coins or whatever because yes. that's what they give you is dollars right. there and shit. Like it was, it's just a shitty, a smoky yeah. fucking place, right? Well, we were on a tear. And I mean, on a tear, meaning like we had sat there and drank all fucking night. Both of us were up a few hundred bucks. That's sort of the goal. You're not in there to take over the fucking resort. You're there to drink for free and and not lose your money. As much money as you would have spent on alcohol. Right. That's the goal of Vegas. Yeah. You know that. And and again, if you're ever there with me, I will tell you that as we're rolling in. Like, how much would you spend on a night out? Yep. That's when when that much is gone, then you're on a binge. Yeah, the whole time we were there, yep. like I'll be like, I'll come back, I'll be like, I lost forty dollars. Oh hell! Like, and he always, every single time, doesn't matter what it is, he'll go. Did you have forty dollars worth of fun? And I'm like, yes. I did have forty yes. dollars yeah. worth of fun. Exactly. Then it's fine. And like, that's the point. Here's yep. some more money. Here's you some, know? Yep. Absolutely. So we're sitting there, and oh, yeah. we are at this point. We are solid kicking fucking ass. And we've been sitting at this table for hours just. Winning, and we're winning winning winning, 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 winning. So at this point, we're both up probably in the five to six hundred dollar range. Again, it's blackjack. You don't go there to to, you know, to pay the light bill or to take over a casino. You're just there to have fun and drink. for free. But we're killing it. And this guy looks a little bit shady. I'm at third base, which means I'm at the end of the table. So she deals to first base first, third base last. Yeah, so I'm over here. Gary is actually sat next to me because the table is emptied out, but it's just me and him playing against her. So a guy comes and he sits in the middle, and he and he, he puts his money out there or whatever. And we're playing, and we, again, we're still, we, we can't fucking lose. Yep. We're just <laughs> printing, there, we're oh, yeah. printing money. Yeah, I've been there. Right? And so all of a sudden, I mean, just like out of nowhere, this plexiglass fucking like shield comes from flying over in the, with the security guard and it just goes over all the money. Right. And they're like, sorry, guys, this table's closed. Right. And I'm like, no, no, it's not like we're fucking kicking ass and we're just drunk and winning and happy. And, and Gary's like, that's bullshit. Like. We, you can't just kick us off the table because we're winning, right? Like, and I'm like, yeah, fuck this place. This place sucks. Like, we're not. No, we're not leaving. Like, we're gonna keep on going on this thing. Do not reshuffle anything. We're kicking ass. Blah blah blah. We're trying to get out of. And uh, they were just like, we're gonna have to ask you guys to step away from the table, please. And uh, did you get your money? What was the plexiglass? Okay, so covering? it covered all their money. Okay. My money is still right here. Yeah. The problem is, is we're in the middle of a hand. And like we both, you're have, in the middle of a hand. We both, we, we both have good cards, and right. we, so we both think like we're about to win more, and we have a shitload of money betting. Right ah, now. that sucks. Okay, they can't fucking Boom. do that. All right, but here's what happens. Shady dude, we fucking step back. Fucking guy who had sat beside us had whipped his dick out and taken a piss. On the oh. dealer's feet. Oh. So what had happened was she just, had just looked down, 
and said some kind of code word, and right. that motherfucking table would shut down so fast. <laughs> we had no idea. We thought it was us. We're like, fuck, dude, we're just fucking winning and shit like that. You know what I mean? But this dude was so out of his oh mind. Oh, my God. Sitting there, just got his dick out and just peed all over her feet. <laughs> right? And so... <laughs> <laughs> so me and Gary arm and on it's 9 a.m. We walk out of that place, both of us like with just a pocket full of money and fucking <laughs> just walk out and the sun shining in our eyes. We have to take a cab to the bus and it's just like, well, we didn't win that last hand, but we'll always have the story <laughs> of the guy walking up and just peeing on the Asian lady's feet. Oh, what know? happened with him? Oh, they arrested the shit out of that motherfucker. But no, I mean, but he he wouldn't get arrested for like a crime. It's basically (laughs) drunk tank. He's out the next morning. Uh, Was he packing? Was he what? Was he packing? I didn't see his dick. I didn't know what happened until after it all happened. Now, P.S., Sweet Cheeks, if you if you ask me, would I have looked at his dick if I'd have known it was that? Yes, I would have. One hundred percent. I'm a dick looker from way back. I don't look at your dick at the airport. You know, like if we're just in urinals, massage. but if you're going to show it to me in some place where I wouldn't expect to see your dick, I'm looking at it. You do the same to me, too, and don't act like you wouldn't. It's like, even, even if you're like, dude, I don't want to see your dick, you're still looking at the dick going, dude, I don't want to see the dick. But you, you got one eye closed, <laughs> one, eye closed. <laughs> one eye is closed, and you're still looking to just see what's going on down there, you know? Like, and uh, I'm, I'm going to be honest, it's not that impressive. 